Hi, Lee Ashby here again. Um, just looking at the X Shipping Pro plugin or extension rather for OpenCart. Um, this is the third video, so we've already looked at the flat rates and free shipping, and now we want to have a look at the large, heavy items and how that integrates uh, with our store. Uh, so basically, for this one, this is where we, the method that we actually define our heavy products. Um, so for Australia, we're using Group 2 method, and for the New Zealand version, we're using Group 3, so subtle difference there. Uh, the criteria for the Australian one, um, similar to before, we just pick Australia, and it's for our default group. And the category here, um, this is where we actually select our products that we want. Um, to be listed as the heavy items. So we've got for any category um, and any of the selected products with others. So you'll notice that this sort of works in conjunction with the flat rate Australia tab. So they sort of work hand in hand, flat rate, so that that works except these ones and this is where we select and define them. Uh, in in here, so if you're adding a new heavy a new heavy product, you'd have to add it um, in both. And in fact, you'll actually have to add the to add the heavy products to all of these methods that we've got defined, um, which is a little bit annoying, but it doesn't actually take that long. And if you did have a lot of heavy products, um, you may come up with another way where you can put them into a a category uh, of some sort, and then you could add. Um, products to that category for example um, that may be an easier way to do it um, but for the moment we're just going to add individual products uh, in so we've got that granular control uh, the pricing for the heavy products uh, which is one of the main things we want to look at the rate type here gives you a few different um, different ways of calculating things um, and the one that we're using here is um, quantity method specific. Um, so to learn a bit more about this and what it all is I highly recommend checking out the Open Mart blog, Open Cart Mart blog sorry, um, so that's just blog.opencartmart.com go there and cruise down to the categories of blog post and ch click on X Shipping Pro, um, and they've got a whole heap of um, blog entries there on how to do uh, all sorts of setups. So have a look through there; it can give you um, some pretty good starters on on setting things up um, and things here. So people have written in and um, wanted their questions answered, um, and so they're tutorials that they display here for various um, ones gives you a really good head start on, on what the options are and, and how to set them up. So I've sort of looked at that to base my answers or my setup for this store. So going back to here, um, for the price for each heavy item, um, we're just looking at the unit range, um, which is basically how many items in the cart. So we've just defined one range. So zero to nine 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 so basically for any shopping cart we're going to charge a cost of fifteen dollars for each heavy item um, now what you can do is set up blocks of heavy items so you charge fifteen dollars for every five heavy items or every ten heavy items or that kind of thing um, and you can also allow a partial part so if they might charge them fifteen dollars for every uh, every five items but for um, if they choose uh, three items then it, it'll charge them just for those three units or five and, and beyond um, so that's pretty straightforward it's just a yes or no option anyway uh, but for this one we're just choosing for individual block of one and the cost we've just got uh, single which is just to calculate the single row um, and there's more options here that uh, you can control the pricing adjustment uh, if need be, but 
Let's just keep it simple and run with that. On the Others tab, um, that's just basically the default settings because we haven't had to hide any um, methods at all because we've basically got that all defined in the criteria um, for, it to for it to display as we want. Um, so as I said before, the main difference between Australia and New Zealand is the grouping. So Australia we're using group 2 and New Zealand we're using group 3. And if we go back to global settings to remind ourselves what they were, group 2 is the highest and showing one method and group 3 is the sum and there's no option um, to, dis to display however many methods. So let's see if we can see that on the front end on, on how that actually works. Uh, now what do we got going on here? Let's just put that back to one for a minute. So we've got our heavy item here, this perfect keto base, and just another item in our cart. Uh, okay, so we're in Australia and so this one we're getting our large and heavy item shipping of $15. So if you remember then, uh, Australia is just choosing the highest option. Um, so $15 is greater than our $10 flat rate. So that's fine. We're happy with that. That's what we want to see. So that's good. Um, that will also display um, on its own as well. So if we don't, even if we don't have another item, we'll get our $15 flat rate, uh, oh, sorry, $15 heavy surcharge rate um, for the heavy item, which is fine. Um, now let's see what happens when we go to New Zealand. Give that a minute. Let's go to Auckland. Okay, so we're getting a totally different price, uh, New Zealand shipping. And I've got a little description in here while we're building the store. So we've got flat rate plus the heavy item surcharge. So our flat rate is for New Zealand is $20 and our heavy item surcharge is $25. Um, so that's adding those two things together to display um, $45 instead of just the heavy item surcharge on its own. And that is basically just by using the different uh, grouping and summing method. So this one chooses highest for Australia. New Zealand uh, chooses sum. So we can have a quick peek at New Zealand heavy item. So it's got group three down there. We've chosen New Zealand in the country. We're just doing it for our default group. Um, that's as per Australia and the pricing is the only point that's different. Um, so instead of 15 we've got 25 for New Zealand. And there's no need to hide any methods for that either. Okay in the next video we're going to look at the wholesale group um, and that'll be a fairly short video um, but it does use um, some interesting uh, interesting settings around uh, setting up geo regions. Um, so that's um, something new to talk about. All right, we'll see you then. Cheers.